What's up, YouTube? We back with another interview today, man. We got a new up and coming artist. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Man, I'm CTG, 19 years old, R and L for life. Yes, sir. This is what we all first look at him. Man, he's straight out of Wichita, Kansas. Just like me, man. We both coming up on the rise. Uh, I heard your new song. It's been going up. Uh, Big Mouth. Hell I'm yeah. To that. I seen people was getting some buzz off of that. How you feel about that? Man, I'm excited about that video. Got it. <laughs> Hell Got yeah. It. Any new music that's on the way? Man, I posted some snippets. I got a song with Rome G dropping. Man, if you know, you know, man. Tap in. Yes, sir. So, what made you get into rap in the first place? Like, what made you start rapping? Like, this is what I, this is what I'm, this is me now. This is what I'm gonna do. Man, to be real, I think it's my pops. I always grew up watching my pops write. He ain't write no music though, he was a poet. Mm -hmm. But always, I used to read his poems and shit and then I started writing and then when I got older, I started turning my poems into music and then that's how I got into it. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you mean because when I was, like I'm not a rapper, <coughs> you know what I mean? But it's the same way, like sometimes shit, you just have some shit on your mind, you know? Just write that shit and then you hit my hear a beat and then go right with it, you know what I mean? Hell yeah. Have you dropped any EPs or anything? Nah, I ain't dropped no EP yet, no mixtape, just all singles. I plan on dropping one though, before December, before December this year, holiday seasons, we got an EP dropping. So stay tuned for that, more music coming soon. Any influences, like uh, any rap influences that you might want to work with one day? Man, the what? biggest people I think I want to work with one day, I gotta say, of all time, I gotta say Kanye West. That's my favorite of all time. But right now, I think my biggest inspiration is Polo G. I wanna work with Polo G one day too. So let me ask you this then, because I had an argument with people all the time. Who better than you, Polo G or G Herbo? Polo. I'll fuck with Herb shit too. Nah, but bro. Polo. Herb, <laughs> Herb different, bro. Herb too different. Herb different, different, but Polo, but <laughs> nah, Polo. No, he built like that. They both up there is like top tier. Hell yeah. Sure. Now Rushmore in Chicago. For sure. Um, any like what's your what's your top three? Let's let's do top three right now. Right now rapping. Yeah, right now. Like who, the best, not your favorite. Who you like? Cause it's very opinionated when you say that. So who's the best three rappers right now? Give me Polo. Give me Lil Durk. And then give me Lil Baby in that order. That's solid. That's solid. I can take that. I can take that for sure. What's yours? I'm going to go G Herbo. Probably. I got to I gotta do. Me Mill ain't dropped nothing in a minute, but that's still on my top. <laughs> Me Mill is up there, bro. He's, he's dope. And then I'm going to go Lil Baby, too, for top three. But Polo G is right after that. And Dirk. No Dirk? Yeah, Dirk is like <laughs> fifth, though. Like, you feel me? Top three is hard. You got to make a quick decision on You know what I mean? That's respect. What's your, what's your goal? What's your goal from a year from now? Like, what's the goal? My goal a year from now? Let me think, like, <clears throat> I'm going to college uh, in September to Florida. So uh, I guess my goal next year, I'll be halfway getting my bachelor's. And then really, I feel like Florida is going to be it's going to be the uh, the place where I just network a lot and meet the right connections because I plan on getting me a, a, a anime show started. I'm going to get that going on YouTube. I feel like my music, my fan base is going to be a lot bigger. And I was, I was, That's like the first time that I've interviewed somebody and it was actually still going to college and, and shit like that, you know what I mean? Because I, I went to college too as well, California. But, Hell yeah. You know, it's... It's good to see that you're going to college and shit still. Still, you got different, like, like routes you can take. You feel me? Like, if something yeah. don't work, you know, that's what my mom used to tell me. Like, what if basketball don't work, you know? You got to find something else type shit. So, that's good. I respect that for sure. Thanks. So, if you get offered, let's see, let's see if you know your rap. If you get offered 100000 tomorrow, record label, boom. I'm going to give you 100000 You come sign with me. You going to do that? It depends. It depends. Like if you like, it's a 360. You know what a 360 is? Nah. And it's really trying to. It's really they just hoeing you. Like they say, like you getting a hundred thousand. You feel me? But you don't own your music. You feel me? Do you think, like, 
you think like all oh, this is yours, but like say you want to leave them, all that music that you make with them is theirs. Like, you don't own I don't own any of my music. None of nah. That. That's nah. what that, that's what people sign with labels and they don't know that type of stuff. That's any anybody like you compare yourself with like any, any comparisons you got? I don't compare myself to nobody, but like I guess if I had to answer that question, a lot of my music right now is is inspired by Polo G. So any like that, any like is that the is that the main artist you would work with? Sure. Yeah. sure. What's your favorite song, Bob? What's, what's the number one? What's the best one? My favorite song to play by him. I can't pick his best song, but I guess my favorite songs. A lot of people don't know this unless you're a fan, but I fuck with uh, you know Bad Path. Oh yeah, that's my favorite song. And uh, man, listen, and rap star. You fuck with his new album? Uh, yeah. What's it, what's his best album? Man? Was this his best one, or was it The Ghost, or uh, what was the first one, Die Legend? Yeah. Uh, I got to think about that <laughs> one, man. I don't know. It's probably this new one to be a deal with you. How's life outside of music? You know what I mean? It's cool. You can get ready for college, doing these courses and shit. That's the time I've been on. What's your, and your major is what? Creative writing. Creative writing? So you're, you're a real writer, not a fake yeah, writer. You're really I'm not just a rapper, bro. Like, I write good music, but if you know me outside of my music, everybody that know me know me, they tell me like, I write better movies and stories than I do music. I feel like I do too. Would you see it, could you see yourself going into acting one day? You I, think? I, or like I, producing or like, you know, like behind the scenes type shit, like writing behind scripts. Behind the scenes, like writing scripts. Yeah, 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 you know what I mean? I thought about that type of shit too, because of Will Smith, matter of fact. But any, uh, any, any like, event that you want to do like a major event that's like on your bucket list like i gotta i gotta perform here rolling out, rolling out. Yeah, that, that should be every country. that should be every rapper's goal for real yeah, we're gonna get this one day oh god you get to roll the loud you, you sure. made it bro so you see your name on off that list oh, that's, that's tough especially being from wichita people don't see us as you know they don't know about the potential that, of people that we have here so yeah, I, will, I will hope to see you and everybody else that I've interviewed, you know, make it. Make yeah, it about that shit too. I'm making a whole album about that shit. I told you the EP gonna be coming. Mm -hmm. So like the storyline of the EP is gonna be I'm telling, I'm telling the world a story from the perspective of a young coming artist from this city, mm -hmm. a city that got a lot of talent but that get looked over and don't got the same opportunities. For sure. That's what the album is about. I talk yeah. about that all the time. Because there's a lot of times people waste their talent too because they feel like they ain't got no choice or no other option. You feel me? They run out of, you feel me, shit to do, but you just can't give up when you're from this city. You can't. Because if you give up, you're just going to be stuck here the rest of your life, chilling. That's my mean, biggest fear. You know what I mean? Man, mine too. Shit. Uh, don't nobody want to be stuck here for the rest of their life. So, let's, let's go into this one. Favorite shoe brand. Cause I see what you got on. You got some steppers on. I don't know if they can see it in the video, yeah. but you know what I mean. People don't, yeah, people don't know about that. That's slight trip. But what's the best shoe brand right now? I'm feeling the shoe brand. Me off tops. I gotta say Jordan, but I fuck with uh. What's the brand? Uh, shoe brand is Jordan. Shoe brand is Jordan, but my favorite brand is uh Polo. I've always wanted some Alexander McCoons. Like, I'm going to get some of those. I, I got to get some Alexander. Got to. Got to. But, y'all heard it here first with CTG Carl, man. Keep tapping in with his music. Tapping with his YouTube channel. New music coming soon. Man. <laughs> I'm going to edit that. Yo, man. Mm -hmm. My mama told me you can do it, but you gotta keep your focus. Told myself that I'm the greatest, I won't wait until they notice. When you come from in my city, all these rapping dreams is hopeless. So nobody chasing dreams, they just all chasing promotions. Already got a target when I'm out because my color. If I ain't got nobody else, I know I got my brothers. The one I love the most, I had to watch and love another. Mm -hmm. Cause I was scared to holler and secure because my stutter. Hey man, CTG, that's a little something off story from the hood.